So you're hoping to see Bam Adebayo versus the Nuggets, but you think it's going to be. No, it's going to be Boston. Okay. I said this. I, Boston's going to be. But the it, first it's going to be back. the battle of the big men that we're watching. No, it's going to be Boston. Okay. I said this. I, Boston's going to be. But the first it, it's going to be back. the battle of the big men that we're watching. No, it's going to be Boston. I said this. I, Boston's going to be. But the first it, it's going to be back. the battle of the big men that we're watching. Three down. One more to go. Three down. One more to go. Now, I hope and pray that you delusional fans who have been flooding my comment section telling me, oh, you keep coming up with these wild conspiracy theories. You think that the NBA is scripted. You think that where y'all at right now, bruh? I told y'all I, I knew it. Now, much credit to one of my subscribers. I cannot remember your name. Please forgive me. But he was the first one who came in my comments and said, Boston is going to pull a 0-3 comeback. And at first I was in denial. I said, you know what? The NBA, the RBA, the Rig Basketball Association is trying to prove to us. See, they're trying to clean up their reputation. They're trying to fix their reputation. Nobody respects the RBA no more. So I said, hey, here is Adam Silver in the NBA trying to right their wrongs. They're going to let the best teams win and get to the NBA finals. But I was wrong and I had to wake up. Eventually, I had to come to reality and realize that the RBA is scripted people richard jefferson told you guys the script and what's funny is right after my most previous video about jason tatum coming back jalen brown went out and said we got one don't let us get two he got two he said don't let us get three this is them putting the truth in plain sight how many times do we have to tell you guys the RBA is scripted, ladies and gentlemen. They have a team of writers sitting around in a room creating these scripts. Jimmy Butler, to much credit, hit three clutch shots down the stretch. Jason Tatum played poorly. Kobe Bryant was looking down from the backstage heavens. When I say the backstage heavens, I'm not talking about real heaven because these are actors. Kobe Bryant was an actor. He's backstage. He's in backstage heaven, meaning that he's behind the curtains of the stage. He's still alive. Kobe Bryant was looking now backstage heavens, disappointed in Jason Tatum tonight. He said, you don't deserve to be the beige mamba. But early on, Jimmy Butler, everybody says that this is Michael Jordan's clone. This is Michael Jordan's son. Oh, yes, he's Michael Jordan's son. Marcus Jordan to Jeffrey Jordan. I mean, at times he looked soft out there. He even started to look like Jasmine Jordan, who is Michael Jordan's daughter. They're putting the truth in plain sight. In 2019, going into 2020. And this was right around the time at the height of COVID. And they say, if you say COVID fast enough, you're saying Kobe. If you notice, the Los Angeles Lakers won the championship going into that year. And I just told y'all, they're doing it to honor the Freemasons. They're doing this to, as an honor to the gods, the fathers, Bill Russell. When are y'all going to get it through y'all thick skulls? But Mark is smart. He didn't just play like he was smart tonight. You could call that man Marcus Intelligent. Marcus Genius. Did y'all see that block that Al Horford put on Bam Autobiography? He blocked Bam Autobio and stopped him in his tracks. Like Will Smith did when he stopped that train in the movie Hancock People. Now as y'all seen in that clip. Malika Andrews, she asked Richard Jefferson his prediction. As soon as he goes to give his prediction, which he just 
putting the truth in plain sight. Like I told y'all, he's just revealing a script. They're doing it in a cunning way. They put it right in y'all faces. And you notice Malika Andrews, she cuts him off right while he's telling you the script. It's little subtle stuff like that that y'all don't pay attention to. Everybody said, you're a conspiracy theorist. After the Celtics took game one, that's when I instantly woke up and smelled the Folgers, the coffee. I knew that the script was in. I said, if the Los Angeles Lakers didn't pull off the 0-3 comeback, how they didn't carry LeBron James to the Western Conference Finals. I said, you know what? They went through the Memphis Grizzlies. The Memphis Grizzlies are a far better team than the Lakers. The Golden State Warriors, far better team than the Lakers. The Lakers even struggled with the Timberwolves. They didn't do all this for no reason. I said they were going to take them all the way to the promised land. But I was fooled. And guess what? They wanted to make sure that the Boston Celtics Get to the NBA Finals. This is a ritual for Bill Russell, people. I mean, do you guys want me to put it in Braille for you? Y'all got to pay attention to stuff. They putting it right there. The year that Bill Russell passed away, the Golden State Warriors played who? The Boston Celtics in the NBA Finals. Do y'all not know that in 1964, the Boston Celtics won the NBA Finals against the San Francisco Warriors? 58 years later, the Golden State Warriors went up against the Boston Celtics. And guess who the Warriors had on their team? Otto Porter, a guy who looks exactly like Wilt Chamberlain. This stuff is not just some big coincidence, people. It's lined up too perfectly to not be scripted. In 2022, the Boston Celtics advanced to the NBA Finals. In 2022. Do the math. Two plus zero is what? Two. Two plus two is what? Four. Four plus two is what? Six. What jersey number does Bill Russell wear? Number six. All this stuff is scripted. And then the following season, what happens? They come back from an 3 deficit. All this stuff is lined up perfectly. It's scripted. And if you notice... It was three seconds left in the game. Jimmy Butler hit three clutch free throws. Three. Three seconds left in the game. They pulled off a 0-3 comeback. Miami was up 3-0. And guess what? It was three seconds left in this game. And Boston came back and won. And at the end, it was like a roller coaster. They had you on the edge of your seat. That's a part of the script. Better than the Hollywood film. You had people in my comment section who truly are deeply in love with the sport because they think that this is real. They don't know that, just don't understand that it's WWE. See, they still need somebody with influence, somebody that they respect, that they watch. They need for them to come out and say that it's scripted first because they're followers. They ain't gonna listen to me saying it. I'm just some regular old conspiracy theorist. And ultimately, they like Jimmy Butler. They like his attitude. He sells the image. He plays into the character of this real person. He's relatable. He's hood. He seems genuine, authentic, competitive, similar to Michael Jordan and his attitude approach to the game he has that throwback attitude people like him buy into it but i told y'all it's scripted and jimmy butler kept on saying they were going to win tonight it was all misdirection they had hopes that miami heat will get to the nba finals that's all it was about but as long as lebron james was winning the bronze sexuals they don't care as long as LeBron get to the finals, they wouldn't even care if it's rigged as long as he win a championship. But you've seen Jason Tatum. He's going to look like the hero coming through with his cape. Just like Superman had that S on his chest. Jason Tatum got that big capital C on his chest. Jason Tatum is about to do something that Flash couldn't do. That Iron Man couldn't do. That Captain America couldn't do.
is about to do something that even the almighty LeBron James couldn't do. The guy that they call Black Jesus and Michael Jordan couldn't do. The Bean, the Mamba, his idol couldn't even do this. Come back from an 0-3 deficit. This is like a WWE script. This is the equivalent to seeing the Hardy Boys jump up off that ladder. Jump up off a ladder. This is just like seeing Chris Benoit do the crippling cross face. Or Kurt Angle putting these boys in the leg lock. This is like The Rock doing the people's elbow. The Rock bottom. Stone Cold with the Stone Cold Stunner people. Don't be surprised if you see in the next game, Jason Tatum hit Jimmy Butler with a choke slam. He might just take Bam out of biography and put him in a tombstone. Or hit him with the finishing move. The Tatum Twister. The Tatum Twister. 